Let's create our drag me project with create react app and template TypeScript. Let's move to the folder and open VS code. We'll run npm start to see how it looks like. Great. Now the first thing I want to go to apptsx and remove all auto-generated HTML. I will add main tag, one div container, and one more div which is going to be a box. Now let's go to app CSS and remove everything here. The main is going to take the whole space. So height is going to be 100 view height and width is 100 view width. Display grid and we will want to place all items in center. Now for our container, I want to add a border. Height and width are going to be 800 pixels and overflow hidden. Now the box is going to have an absolute position relative to container. top zero, left zero, and background color is going to be hot pink. Height of the box is 60 pixels and width 60 pixels as well. And we'll add cursor pointer. Let's check it out. Great, so here's our container with a little pink box. Let's go back to the code. So first thing that I want to do is import use effect, which we'll be using to adding some event listeners to the box and container. The use effect is going to be run each time when the component is mounted. Next step, we need to create reference for our DOM elements for the box and container. Use ref. The type is going to be HTML div element and initial value in null. Let's add this ref to the box. And we'll do the same thing for our container. ref equals container ref. Now in our use effect function, I want to check that box and container have already current values, so they're not null. Otherwise, I want to return from the function and do nothing. Box here, box ref current, and let's grab a current value for container two. Let's add an event listener to our box. Add event listener, mouse down, and we'll write the simple function here to see how it looks like. Let's go back to our browser dev tools and click on the box. Now we can see here that each time when I'm clicking on the box, the function which is added to our event listener is being called twice. And this is happening because event listener is getting a function each time when the component is mounted. And we're not doing a cleanup when the component is unmounted. So let's check how we can fix it. First, I want to create a separate function that we'll add to our event listener and it's going to be called on mouse down and we'll move console log into the function. Let's replace it in our add event listener on mouse down and let's create a cleanup function where we'll call remove event listener for our box mouse down.
and let's return the cleanup function in our event so we're sure that the function is being called. Let's see. Clicking on the box and it seems to be working. Let's add a mouse event to our on mouse down function and create another ref which is going to be used for tracking clicks. Use ref boolean and initial value false. Let's jump back to our on mouse down function and change is clicked current to true. Let's add another event listener to our box. Mouse up, on mouse up. And in this function, we're going to switch the value of is clicked back to false. Let's add remove event listener in our cleanup function for mouse up as well. Now we're ready to add mouse move event listener to our container. Add event listener, mouse move, on mouse move, and we will remove event listener in cleanup here as well. Let's create a function on mouse move. Now here I want to check that the current value of is clicked is true. Otherwise we want to return from the function. I want to change the top position of the box with event client y and I'm using string interpolation here to make it a little bit easier. Box style left as well takes event client x. Let's see what happens. I'm dragging the box and we see that we have a little bit of offset here. And it happens because we're putting the positions of the mouse directly into the box top and left. Instead, we want to calculate the position based on the starting point of the box. Let's see how we can do that. I will start by creating another ref which will store the coordinates. The type is going to have start x as number and start y as number as well. Initial value for both of them are going to be 0. We go back to on mouse down function and we want to store initial position of mouse when the box is clicked. Start x equals event client x, start y equals event client y. Now let's go to on mouse move and calculate the next position. So next x equals event client x minus coordinates current start x. And for next y, event client y minus coordinates current start y. Let's replace the values of top and left for the box, next y and next x. Let's see what happens. Dragging the box. Looks great. Now what happens here is that when I release the mouse and click on it again after dragging the box, the box jumps back to its initial position. So we need to store the last position of the box as well and to add them to the calculation. We'll change our coordinates now and we'll add last x position number and last y position number. Initial values are going to be 0 for both of them. Now let's go to on mouse up function and store last positions based on the box offset. Last x, box offset left. Last y, box offset top. 
Now let's go to on mouse move function and add last positions to our calculations. Start x plus coordinates current last x and start y plus coordinates current last y. Let's check it out. I'm clicking on the box, dragging it, releasing, clicking again, dragging. Awesome. Now here's the last thing. When I'm moving the pointer and it goes beyond the container and I'm coming back, the value of is clicked is still true. And we don't want that. To fix this, we want to add one more event listener to the container. Add event listener mouse leave and we will call on mouse up here as well. And let's add remove event listener in our cleanup function as well. Let's test it out. Dragging the box, going beyond the container, coming back, dragging again. Looks great. All right. In the next episode, we're going to create a custom hook where we will move all the calculations and the hook is going to be basically reusable for any type of components. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.